Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. So today's video is going to be a little different. I have been asked about this so many different times since I started my channel a few years ago. So not only do I have two different YouTube channels that are both monetized, but I also earn money as a voiceover artist. And many people have asked me how to get started in the voiceover industry, is it difficult, and what equipment do you need? They also want to know where exactly you can go to search for jobs and how difficult it is to get voice jobs. So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about a perfect voiceover job for beginners. This is how I started in the voiceover industry. I had an idea for a friend of mine to become a voiceover artist because he has an amazing voice. And then I thought, well, what if I did it myself? So I went on Amazon, I bought a microphone, and if you click on the links in the description below this video, you will see the exact microphones that I use. But I started off with a Blue Yeti, which is a microphone that a lot of different YouTubers use. And since then, I have upgraded to different Rode microphones. So I bought my microphone on Amazon, and then I basically turned one of my closets into a makeshift sound booth. Basically, instead of buying acoustic foam, I started off just recording myself in front of all of my clothes, because all of those clothes in my closet acted as a sound barrier. And because the closet is small, there's not as much echo or reverb, especially with all of the different clothes. So really, I just bought a microphone, it was very affordable, and I recorded myself using the free program Audacity, and then I did some basic audio editing and made myself a demo reel. I then uploaded that demo reel to Upwork and I started to apply to different jobs. Now, of course, when you're getting started, don't expect to make the going rate of what a voiceover artist would charge. You want to start with smaller jobs and maybe they don't pay great, but you'll start to get reviews and little by little, you can get more and more jobs. I'm sure you've seen on YouTube a lot of top five or top 10 YouTube channels where they basically are just saying, you know, the top five most beautiful women in Hollywood, for example. Well, I found a job on Upwork doing all of those different voiceovers. So I would say I was making between 15 to $20 an hour, and this is hour of work, not audio hour. If the voiceover was around 10 minutes long, it probably took me one to two hours to record the voiceover and edit it. Because of course you have to edit out all these different mouth sounds or breaths and leave a certain amount of space between lines based on what the client tells you. But in today's video, I'm going to show you on Upwork how you can find these kinds of jobs. We'll talk about what you need, how to apply to these jobs, and in future tutorials, I'm going to teach you how to do audio editing in more detail. Again, if you click on the links in the description below this video, you can see the exact microphone I used when I was first getting started. Now, do you need to be a native English speaker? Absolutely not. There are a lot of jobs available that are not just for the English language. And also, a lot of people who do these voiceover jobs are not native English speakers, but they speak English and it's okay if they have an accent. So you can look for jobs either in your own language or in any language you speak, even if it's not your native language. And if you can't afford a microphone, it doesn't have to be one of the high-end microphones. You can try to do a demo reel using any microphone that you have, but it should be better quality than your phone or your computer. And if you can't afford to buy a microphone brand new, you should go to a secondhand shop or check Facebook Marketplace and see if you can get a deal for a used microphone. Just today I went into a secondhand shop and I saw a Yeti microphone for half the price of what it is new on Amazon. But this is exactly how I got started in the industry. And now if you look on my Upwork profile, you can see I've earned over 90,000 US dollars and the majority of this comes from voice over acting. Okay, so now we're going to jump into Upwork and I'm going to show you where you can apply to these kinds of jobs. Okay, so you can see that a few days ago I received a few different opportunities uh, via email from Upwork. YouTube voiceover artist, they're paying between $20 to $90 per hour. Another one for a voiceover artist for YouTube videos, they're paying a fixed rate of $15 for a 1400 to 1700 word script. And the reason we are focusing on voiceovers for YouTube videos is that usually people are not expecting studio quality for these voiceovers. They're not paying enough to expect perfect quality. They're paying a low budget amount. So it's okay to apply to these kinds of jobs because they don't expect you to have a top of the line microphone or a sound booth, for example. So again, what you need is a microphone, an external microphone, Record in a small space with, for example, like a closet that you've turned into a sound booth by putting in a lot of clothes, maybe even some pillows or a mattress or something just to reduce the echo and reverb. And also it's so important that you have a pop filter. 
This here is a pop filter. I've linked you to one in the description below this video. And basically what this does is it clips on either a desk or onto your microphone itself. And this part has to be in front of the microphone. And that way, when you are speaking into the microphone, the microphone is not going to pick up on the P's and S's because without one of these, every time you say a word that contains an S or a P, it will really pick up and make pops on your microphone. So you need to have this to reduce it. These are super cheap. You can get them for under $10. And this is imperative to have so your audio quality is decent and doesn't have these high P and S sounds. So let's go on to Upwork and find out how we can apply to these jobs and how to search for these jobs. So at the top, you can either go here under search where it says jobs and just type in voiceover for YouTube or you can click find work, find work. This is going to bring you to the search engine here and we're going to type in voiceover YouTube. Now you might also want to put in other keywords like narrator, YouTube, voice, YouTube. And you can see here we've got voice, YouTube voiceover artist, voiceover for a luxury YouTube channel. This person, for example, entry level, they are paying $50 for five scripts. So they're paying $10 per script. Again, this is extremely low paid for a voiceover, but these are the kinds of jobs you can apply to without being a professional. These jobs are great for just getting started to build your portfolio before you're able to afford better equipment and apply to higher paid jobs. So here I recommend under client info, you put payment verified clients. You can also put entry, intermediate, or expert. If you're just getting started, I recommend entry or even intermediate if you have a good microphone and you know a bit more about audio editing. And you can see there are other languages as well. This one, they want a German voiceover. Uh, and maybe you will type in whatever keyword it is voiceover in your own language to find voiceovers in the language that you speak. So again, there's more voiceover artists, voiceover artist. So when you want to apply to one of these jobs, let's say I wanted to apply to this one here, the client has a pretty good rating, they've spent money, so I know that this is probably a client I can trust. Let's say you click on it and to apply to this job, and what you'll do is you'll click submit a proposal, and then here you're going to scroll down and you'll put in the amount you're going to bid for the job. Again, they've said $50 for five scripts, so they're willing to pay $10 per script which Upwork takes 20%, so you would only receive $8. Again, this is not good paying jobs for voiceovers, but it is a way to get started, to get your foot in the industry, to have reviews on your profile, to be able to attract better clients. This is what I did to get started. I took a lot of low budget jobs just to build up my experience level and reviews on my portfolio before I was able to except the $100, $200 jobs. Here under how long will this project take? It'll say less than one month. And then here's a chance to put in your cover letter. Now, if you do not have any experience, again, you need to record your own demo. You need to record an example script and you will upload that here. Okay, so as a cover letter, you really want it to be short and sweet. No one's going to sit there and read three paragraphs. Like, that's just a waste of their time. They just want to know what you can offer them. So something as simple as, hello, I am very interested in producing voiceovers for your YouTube channel. I am a voiceover artist with an energetic, upbeat, and cheerful voice style. Of course, you can change these adjectives to whatever describes your voice. I can adapt my voice tone to your needs. Actually, you might want to put in your gender here because sometimes they are looking for a male voiceover artist or a female voiceover artist and I can adapt my voice tone to your needs. I encourage you to listen to my demo reel that I have attached below. I'm ready to get started immediately should you choose to go with my voice style. I look forward to hearing from you. Warm regards, Jennifer, or whatever your name is. And here you have a couple options. You can either link them to a YouTube video where you've uploaded your demo reel so they don't have to download anything and just can stream it, or you can upload a project file here. And so you can upload it in WAV or MP3 format so they can listen. Now, if you don't have any demo reels, you can record just a sample of your voice. 
and find any sample scripts online. Just type in sample scripts for YouTube and record a couple different samples in a couple different styles and then upload them here. And you can use a free program called Audacity to record your voiceover. So this is Audacity here. This is a recording I have done. And I'm going to do a full tutorial on audio editing, but really the most important thing to do is to remove the background noise, which you can do by clicking here on the selection tool, dragging a sample where it's just background noise, and then go effect, noise reduction, get noise profile, then go select all to select the track, then effect, noise reduction, okay, and that's going to reduce this background noise that we have. Let's say there's a fan or a humming noise and see it, it's just cleaned up all the background noise. And then you're going to go through and remove spaces, remove any mistakes that you made. And you can do that by clicking and dragging to highlight a section you want to erase. Click backspace and that deletes the section. So again, this backspace. Let's say you want to silence a part but not to erase it. Let's say this here was a cough. I can highlight it and here I can go silence audio selection and that makes it quiet. So just go through your voiceover and erase sections you don't want and then control plus A effect amplify and you want this to be around minus 3 dB so it's not too loud. Okay. Again, this is super basic audio editing we're doing right now, but when I got started, this is all I did and I secured many, many jobs on Upwork. When you're ready to export your voiceover, go File, Export, and you can export as MP3 or WAV. Usually people want it in WAV format because it's better quality, but you can choose either of these, give it a name, save, okay, and that's going to export your file. And as a name, you could put, you know, Taylor Jones voiceover demo, for example, put your name and then voiceover demo. So then you're going to upload that here and just scroll down. You can ignore the boost your proposal and then send for two connects. And that means you're spending two connects. If you have the free version of Upwork, I think you get 10 connects each month to spend. Or you can upgrade to the pro membership each month and then you get a lot more connects. And it's really just that simple to apply to these jobs. I did this and in my first month of applying, I got two jobs, I believe. And then since then, it's just grown and grown and grown. You can see I have my freelancer profile here. I have 100% success rating. I'm top rated and I've earned over 89,000 US dollars. So I will be doing more tutorials about this, about how to get into the voiceover artist industry, about audio editing and ideal microphones and all of that. So make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Click on the links in the description below to see the exact equipment I use and that I did use to get started. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can also check out all my other videos on Upwork to find out exactly how to write a cover letter and how to use the Upwork platform. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next tutorial.